The man of the moment, in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. I'm very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Forest Green Rovers, and they face Northampton Town. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And so the Forest Green Rovers starting 11. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And now they get the ball rolling. That's how to rob them of possession. Making progress. And he put it in. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Well, on first viewing, I thought he was onside, but the replay confirms he was just off. That's a good call by the assistant. Stevenson. Well read to ease the pressure. Ashley, and the emphasis is on creativity. Dangerous ball, and cleared away. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see from those stats, and it's going to be a real test for that back line to keep him quiet. If they switch off, even for a minute, they'll be punished. He's in behind. Intercepting it intelligently. This looks promising out wide. Just the clearance that was called for. Well, in the grand scheme of things, pretty straightforward for the keeper.
Stevenson. He's going forward well here. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Moving it forward. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. Yep, it's a goal for Mansfield Town. They've scored the opener here with 20 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. So a throw in here. Stevenson. Crisp tackling. Well, they might be onto something. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway again here. One nil the score. Adams has it. How could he take them on and beat them? And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Unable to keep possession. And no luck keeping possession. It should be! Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Exeter City. It's now 1-0 with 32 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. It's a perfect challenge. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And he's in an offside position. Stevenson. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Lewis. And possession given away. Playing with purpose and control. Can he play it in? 
Taking care of business defensively here. And foul it is then. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. Quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Ashley. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Let's see about the delivery. And cleared away. Stevenson. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And a goal to level this contest. Oh! Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And now they get the ball rolling. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Well, they might be onto something. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post.
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Aaron McGowan. Hoskins. Fruitful looking attack. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and it is a booking Stuart and we can see that one coming a mile away well he's been warned so no complaints really able to deal with the threat well, I must say, he acquitted himself well under pressure. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, no danger now. An important piece of transfer news to pass on. Jordi Alba has completed his move to Manchester City, Stuart. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him but he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Terrific block. And dispossessed. Adams. Well, the ball lost here. Ashley firing it in. Well kept out. And over it comes, struggling to get it away. Good looking ball. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Won it back. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. moving again anyone's guess how this is going to finish 2-1 currently and in with a real chance and that is offside Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And the cross is very much on. Can he make it count? And saved by the keeper. Last man back, and job done. And this situation could be dangerous. 
Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Substitution time it is. Stevenson in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Cross fired over, and he's clear his lines. And an effective clearance. Good pressure, can they make something of this? And the danger cleared. Well, this game ebbing away, and the visitors on course to eke out a narrow victory. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Well, they couldn't keep it. On the attack in the closing phase. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Ten minutes to go then. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. It's a goal for Exeter City. The goalkeepers. This could finish it, and in all likelihood that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Well, we did have to cut off Alex for understandable reasons in this case. Just to confirm for you, a goal for the visitors in that game. And they're winning in that game at the moment by two goals to one. And a goal has gone in in one of the other matches. Alex Scott will tell us more. It's a goal for Rutsch now. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 85 minutes played. Alex keeping us rock. Can he put it away? Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And that's a corner. Playing it in. It comes to nothing in the end. Ashley and he's gone into an illegal position unfortunately And he put it in, and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Yeah. 
Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Well timed tackle. Ashley. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. Well, the misery continues. Quite simply, Stuart, he had to go. Well, I think that sums up their day. A complete lack of discipline from everybody involved. Well, he's given it away, making sure nothing untoward happened. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. And well, they might be onto something. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And it is a booking, Stuart, and we can see that one. Firing it in. Well kept out. Won it back. He's got the right idea with that pass. Just look at the celebrations. And this situation could be dangerous. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. This could finish it. Put it in. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Ashley.
Well, the misery continues quite simply. Our cameras on one man, in wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's Northampton Town, and they take on Swindon Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, getting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And introducing the visitors' line-up today. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Thank will they stay high and wide? Game. Will they come in field and support the centre-forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the match begins. Could cross it in here. However, a well thought out piece of defending. And he read it superbly. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, he's lost it. Fruitful looking attack. Well, he certainly caused all of that. But was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. He's in with a chance. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Let's see about the delivery. He succeeds in clearing it. No two ways about it, a wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough.
Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yep, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 12 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Reed now. Crisp tackling. Ashley. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He stopped the goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. an accurate free kick but a fine save well he likes to run at them can he give them the advantage and pushed onto the woodwork and he clears the danger Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. It's a goal for Warsaw. They're the first on the score sheet here with 21 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Could be dangerous. Will it happen for them? And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, as you can see, they've done everything in terms of creativity. They've made opportunities, but the finishing hasn't been good enough. At some point, they have to finish one of these chances off. Really a very poor ball. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And let's give credit to the defending. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. And really pressing their opponents. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games, and Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Carlisle. The free kick was well executed. Opportunity. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Over it comes. Danger averted for now. Lost possession. And possibilities here. And he's through here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Trying to deliver it accurately. And a no-nonsense clearance. 
clear foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming Read now. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Ashley. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in and Barry will he play it in and the problem not completely solved now they can keep possession now can they hit on the break we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here well, the outcome is a free kick here. Lewis. Hoskins. Superb block. Really a very poor ball. Lewis. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And the match begins. He's in with a chance. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And possibilities here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Ashley.
Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Rochdale. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 48 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. On to Gladwin. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And in with a real chance. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And well, the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Well, they fancy a short one. Ashley showing good defensive judgment might really be able to trouble them here well nothing comes of it it looked promising well they've lost the ball and space for the cross an attack full of promise. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. There to win it back. On to Gladwin. Made it a bit too easy for us. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. Can they take the lead here? Full credit, wonderful stop. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Number seven, Sam Hoskins. Coming onto the pitch, number ten, Beverly Lubala. And he's fired over the corner. He couldn't get it past that first defender. But attacking possibilities. Clearly offside. Reed. A good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, a vital interception. Firing is in. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now, goal news to bring you from one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the details. 
Yet another goal for Leighton Orient. They've pulled it back to 3-2 with 72 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, can they make one of these passes count? Fox. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And that was a very fine read. Intense pressure. Having won the ball back, they didn't fool the keeper. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Can someone get on the end of this? And he's clear his lines. Read now. Fox and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture and an astute piece of defending a long way out nil nil it remains but not for the want of trying well that was a decent effort but overall the defences have been on top in this game going forward well here and crossed in there and a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive and winning it back well the fans are making so much noise here they believe the winner's coming but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. This could pose problems for the defenders. Teammate in support. Well, really lacking composure, and he couldn't beat the keeper. Well, that's a big moment, and he's completely messed it up. Davison. Barry. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. All even, but will it stay that way? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the referee blows for full time. It's a share of the points here, but no goals on the scoreboard. Stuart, your overall assessment. Well, Derek, I've certainly seen better games, but I thought both teams defended really well at times. But the lack of attacking quality was all too evident. It's a really disappointing game. And the match begins. He's in with a chance. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. A 
And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Opportunity! Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And possibilities here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Wonderful stop. Intense pressure. Didn't fool the keeper. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? Long way out. 